hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this eighth video of rectification chapter we are going to solve this illustration 5 of the ICS study material but of our series this is the first problem now so far in the previous seven videos we have almost completed this chapter conceptually everything has been covered yeah we have seen so many tricks and techniques with the concept and logic behind that and we have seen so many practical examples in almost all of the videos right but we never had a separate video just for a problem so that is why i have you know i'm making this video okay so here we are only going to solve the problem where we will have all sorts of errors fine so you have to understand now how we have to approach a question yeah how we, you have to identify the things and you know commit to them properly right so see here let's start correct the following errors found in the books of mr dalt the trial balance was out what does that mean the trial balance was out it means it is not equal debit is not equal to credit trial balance is not agreeing is that clear the trial balance was out by rupees 493 excess credit the difference thus has been posted to a suspense account now immediately you have to understand what kind of balance does the suspense account has in this question tell me what kind of balance it has is it credit balance or debit balance because it's very important you need to have that interpretation properly okay because when you will make the suspense account yeah ledger account of suspense account then you need to take that balance opening balance on debit side or credit side if it is debit balance you have to take on debit side if it is credit balance you have to take on credit side isn't it yes so here you come to know see here out by 493 excess credit they are saying understand properly many of the students are confused in this they don't know basic things and they mess up in the exam see here this is the trial balance yes so in trial balance what do you take what do you take over here in trial balance debit column and credit column you take debit balances in debit column you take credit balances in credit column isn't it from the ledger account you pick up debit and credit balances and you put in the trial balance isn't it yes so that means if there is a gap in the debit column if there is a gap in the debit column and you fill that up by the suspense account then that is debit balance then that is debit balance always understand this properly let me tell you again see here whenever there is a gap in the in the debit column then you fill that up by the suspense account then that is debit balance if there is a gap in the credit column and you fill that up by the suspense account then that is credit balance is that clear yeah so when there will be a gap in the debit column when credit is more when credit is more there will be gap in debit column when debit is more than credit then there will be gap in credit column okay here what they are saying there is a you know excess credit excess credit more credit is there by 493 so there will be a gap of 493 in the debit column so suspense account will have which balance suspense account will have debit balance is that clear is that clear easy simple you got it right fine now let's start with the first error you got to know that you know the suspense account has debit balance if i'm preparing the ledger account of suspense yeah then i will take here on the debit side two balance b by d is that clear yes one more thing you have to understand that is the stage when errors have been detected which type of problem have you got you all know there are three different stages we have seen in the conceptual video only that is before trial balance after trial balance and next accounting period now here in this question what has happened the trial balance has been prepared the trial balance was out by 493 excess credit that means trial balance has been prepared so this question is stage two question after preparing the trial balance is that clear yes fine stage 2 after preparing the trial balance now let's start with the first error see here an amount of rupees 100 was received from didas on 31st december 2020 but has been omitted to enter in the cash book now what's happening over here always look for the keyword first in which category it's falling what type of error is it yeah so see the keyword is enter enter means what it is falling into that category entered recorded passed yeah so the mistake is there in the whole recording fine and they are saying omitted that means this transaction is the case of full omission nothing has been recorded what is the transaction amount of 100 was received from didas so what is the journal entry for that correct journal entry cash account debit to didas isn't it and this 
transaction is not recorded at all in the cash book which was supposed to be recorded here it is not recorded so what you will do now what is the rectification simple rectification sir we are just going to record it just pass that correct entry only cash account to didas simple see here the correct entry cash account to didas no entry nothing they have recorded yeah no entry was made in the cash book so what we have to do in rectification now now we just have to make that same entry cash account to didas 100 100 simple easy right this is the case of complete omission now see the next transaction b the total of returns inward book now immediately you have to understand which type of book this is return inward this is sales return yeah because the returns are coming inward inward customers are returning to us fine so return inwards book means sales return book the total of return inwards book for december has been cast 100 short what does that mean that is the case of undercasting undercasting it is less by 100 okay so what we have to do now if it is the case of undercasting then we have to what we have to increase the return inwards book we have to increase the sales return account okay sales return account has debit balance isn't it sales return has debit balance so what we have to do to increase it we have to debit it is that clear so really simple see here sales return account debit 100 and there is no other account involved in this rectification see here nothing has happened the effect is there the error is there only in one account this is one sided error this is see here this is one sided error one sided error the mistake is there only in one account so what you have to do you have to pass the rectification entry but you will rectify only one thing because mistake is there only in sales return so the entry cannot be handicapped you have to complete the entry you have to complete the entry with the suspense account yeah general entry with the suspense account is that clear yes so you will debit the sales return and increase it by 100 and the another effect will be in the suspense account see here suspense account has been credited to suspense account 100 okay this is the case of undercasting sales return account was undercasted what did you do what do you do of undercasting you increase that yeah you increase that account fine easy next is see here the purchase of an office table costing 300 understand the transaction properly the purchase of an office table costing 300 has been passed through the purchase day book what is the keyword over here passed so this is falling into that category which category recorded entered passed okay the mistake is there in all the accounts okay so passed is the keyword and they are saying that you know the purchase of an office table costing 300 has been passed through purchase day book this is office table office table means it's an asset it is not purchase yeah it is not purchase account this is not invented this is not stock this table is meant to be used in the business so you know furniture account was supposed to be debited what was supposed to be the general entry furniture account to cash but what they have done they have taken this transaction entirely in the purchase day book entirely it is wrongly recorded so what you have to do it's really simple this is a homogeneous technique you have to apply homogeneous technique over here yeah this is a homogeneous error debit has gone into debit purchase account also has debit balance and here uh, office table which is a furniture account also has debit balance so debit has gone into debit you have to apply the homogeneous trick what's homogeneous trick really simple record what is right reverse what is wrong what is right purchase is wrong what is right office table furniture is right so record what is right reverse what is wrong okay so really simple see here see here furniture account debit record what is right furniture is right debit that purchase is wrong you have to credit that to purchase account 300 now see understand it's really simple record what is right means what you have to record that value furniture is right furniture is an asset to record what you have to do for an asset you have to debit that to increase yeah and purchase is what it's an expense it's wrong you have to reverse that so to reverse that how will you reverse an expense account by crediting it yeah yes fine this is homogeneous transaction debit has gone into debit okay when you do this whenever you have these keywords passed entered recorded yeah and debit has gone into debit a transaction which was supposed to be taken to furniture account it has been taken to where purchase day book purchase account yeah debit has gone into debit is that clear easy 
next transaction see here d now see this d and c are interrelated okay this c and d they are interrelated 375 paid for wages to workmen for making showcases now these showcases are for these office table only okay so 375 paid for wages to workmen for making showcases had been charged to wages account now understand properly you know whenever you purchase any machinery or any asset yeah all the expenses which you incur on them from bringing that asset to its you know uh, main intended use all the expenses which you incur in that in that process all those are capitalized they are capitalized what does that mean it means that uh, you know, for example let's just say you purchase a machinery okay you brought it to your uh, workplace but now let's just say you paid a shipping charge of let's say thousand rupees now what you will do that thousand rupees you will capitalize you will add it with the cost of the asset for example let's just say cost of asset was ten thousand you purchased that machinery for ten thousand so you brought that ten thousand over here but you had to pay one thousand on shipping so ten thousand plus one thousand the total value of that asset would be what eleven thousand okay you will capitalize okay that's capital expenditure which one that thousand rupees fine yes so the same thing has happened over here to make that office table uh, ready for its intended use available for its intended use what you had to do you had to make these showcases and you know you had to incur this expense 375 but this expense you will not treat it as revenue expenditure you will capitalize it you will you know add it to that furniture account only that's the main actual treatment fine 375 paid for wages to workmen for making showcases this expense you have to add it with the furniture account you will not charge it to the wages account so now what they have done over here let's understand and rectify this it's really simple see the keyword over here in this error charged 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 means what in which category it's falling posted debited credited yeah that specific category the mistake is there only in specific account so you have to rectify only that specific account yeah and record what is not recorded fine that's what you do whenever you have these key terms you know keywords charge debited posted so what you have to do now you have to first identify what is the correct part and what is the wrong part the universal tip yeah whenever you have these terms so see here what is the correct part 375 paid for wages to workmen for making showcases okay for making showcases fine which are for this office table only so that means let's understand what is the journal correct journal entry for this transaction the correct journal entry for this transaction is see here d furniture account to cash 375 375 yeah as i said those showcases are meant for that only office table only yeah it's along with that so that is why you have to capitalize it yeah whatever money you have paid for wages to workmen 375 you have to capitalize along with the furniture account only is that clear furniture account 375 to cash account this is the correct general entry but what did they do understand properly read the wrong part the wrong part is see here had been charged to wages account had been charged to wages account so what does that mean what is the meaning of charged it means debited charged means debited so it's, it has been debited to wages account so whenever you have these keywords uh, credited debited posted the mistake is there only in specific account okay so, so mistake is there only in wages account over here because whatever they will mention in the wrong part only in that there is a mistake there is no mistake in cash account okay see here the wrong entry what they have done they have done wages account to cash 375 375 there is no mistake in cash account cash account was supposed to be credited it has been credited even in the wrong entry is that clear fine so you understood this this is the correct entry this is the wrong entry how will you pass the rectification entry really simple just compare and see what is not recorded furniture was supposed to be recorded it is not recorded see here it is not recorded record that furniture account debit 375 furniture is an asset to record you have to debit right so you will debit the furniture account what is wrong what is wrong over here cash is not wrong wages is wrong right wages are wrong so you have to credit the wages and reverse it wages are expenses yeah wages is an expense and to reverse that you will have to credit fine two wages and what is right now see cash is right you will not touch that it has been completely right now it has been credited so you will not touch that if you touch that then double posting will go okay you will not touch that so furniture account to wages this will be the rectification entry for that really simple fine next transaction e a purchase of 67 a purchase of 67 
had been posted to the trade payables account as rupees 60. Now see the keyword over here again that specific error yeah charged posted credited debited these are specific errors posted so always have the universal tip with you that is read the error in two parts the correct part and the wrong part what is the correct part a purchase of rupees 67 this is the correct part what is the wrong part had been posted to trade payables account yeah mistake is there only in trade payables account it is taken as rupees 60 it was supposed to be taken as 67 but they took it as 60 is that clear so first let's see the uh, correct entry what's the correct entry see the correct entry e purchase account debit to trade payables 67 67 see here it's really simple now nah? what they have saying purchase of 67 it's not purchase account to cash why because trade payables is there they have mentioned trade payables now nah? so it's a credit purchase okay purchase account to creditor or purchase account to trade payables whatever you want you can take it fine so purchase account to trade payables 67 67 this is the correct uh, general entry but what did they do what is the wrong general entry the mistake was there in the amount see here had been posted to the trade payables account as rupees 60 in trade payables account the amount has gone wrong in the ledger account 60 has gone so in general entry how do we show that effect really simple see here the mistake is there only in specific account because the keyword is posted and in the wrong part they are talking about trade payables only 60 rupees in trade payables account only so mistake is there only in trade payables here purchase account debit correct amount has gone see here correct amount has gone 67 but in trade payables wrong amount has gone how much 60 is that clear so how will you rectify this it's really simple you just understand properly you just have to understand properly what has happened trade payables is less by 7 rupees trade payables is less by 7 rupees isn't it it's common sense just by looking at the wrong entry you can understand so what you will do you will just you know credit the trade payables even more by 7 and make it uh, correct yeah 67 amount was supposed to go into trade payables but 60 has gone you have to take additionally 7 over there yeah the mistake is there only in trade payables so you have to credit only trade payables to trade payable 7 fine yes but then but then the entry will be handicapped there is no other mistake except the trade payable there is no other mistake so suspense account has to be has to be debited yeah you have to complete the handicap with the suspense account suspense account debit to trade payable 77 clear easy next entry see here a check of rupees 200 received from pc joshi had been dishonored now understand properly you have to see the whole effect over here when you receive the check what is the general entry when you receive the check and let's just say you have deposited the check on the same day what is the general entry simple we just say bank account debit to what bank account debit to joshi right yeah when we receive the check when we receive the check bank account to joshi and then when we came to know the check has been dishonored the check has been bounced yeah dishonored then what do we do what is the general entry then simply we reverse this entry yeah these are the correct entry i'm talking about joshi to bank our bank balance has not increased whatever we increased previously we credit that exact reverse entry has been is, is passed whenever the che checks are dishonored okay fine is that clear yes so a check for 200 received from pc joshi had been dishonored the correct entry for this a check for you know dishonored entry is this joshi to bank but then what happened what is the wrong part over here and was passed to the debit of allowances account now understand you might be little bit confused over here this is a cash book transaction yeah in the bank column this happens so see here for cash book now you all know that cash book is not only a subsidiary book it is also a ledger account isn't it yes so that is why the terms right all the terms can be used in the cash book you know uh, that categorization we had now recorded entered passed these will be used for subsidiary books in a, for the journal and then the other terms posted debited credited they will be used for ledger accounts yeah i said that and then i told you for the cash book both the things can be used because cash book is also a subsidiary a journal and also a ledger account both the things so all those terms can be used so you have to be a little bit careful and apply common sense and understand properly now see here was passed to the debit of allowances account yeah so what is the meaning of this the meaning is debited the meaning of this entire thing is debited mistake is there only in specific account of allowances okay allowances account 
is that clear yeah the meaning of this entire thing is debited was debited to allowances account fine so let's understand how you will rectify let's see the correct in general entry first you all have already seen the correct general entry see here it's really simple uh, Joshi account to bank you have reverse yeah when you receive the check you pass this and then at the dishonor you reverse that Joshi to bank Joshi to bank this is the uh, correct general entry fine but what did they do what did the people in the question do see here was passed to the debit of allowances account allowances account was debited instead of instead of Joshi account allowances account was debited instead of Joshi account so allowances account debit to bank account there is no mistake in bank account bank account is completely correct it's credited it's completely correct there is no mistake over there because in the wrong part this is the wrong part they are not saying anything regarding bank they are not saying anything regarding bank they are talking about allowances mistake is there on all allowances account fine yes so allowances to bank now how will you rectify this really simple and straightforward see here bank is completely right you will not touch that it, it was supposed to be credited it has been credited you will not touch that the mistake is there in the allowances account so just reverse that how will you reverse allowances it has been debited to reverse i will make an equal credit and i will reverse it to allowances 200 clear easy now what is not recorded joshi was supposed to be recorded and it is not recorded neither debited or credited so what you will do it was supposed to be debited you will debit it really simple it's not difficult record what is not recorded reverse what is wrong what is completely right do not touch that at all bank is completely right do not touch that at all yeah what is wrong allowances was wrong you reverse that and then joshi was not recorded you recorded that clear easy next transaction see here g thousand paid for the purchase of a motorcycle for mr Dutt had been charged to miscellaneous expenses account now understand properly the keyword is charged so this is falling into that specific category you know uh, creditor debited poster charged yeah charged means debited fine now let's read the error in two parts the correct part and the wrong part what's the correct part over here thousand paid for the purchase of a motorcycle for mr Dutt. now understand who is mr Dutt? mr Dutt is the owner mr Dutt is the owner so whenever any personal expense happens of owner what do you do you take drawings account you all know that yeah so what is the correct general entry for this transaction purchase of a motorcycle for mr Dutt? simple sir drawings account debit to cash yeah we will not take motorcycle account we will not take scooter account or something like that no because this motorcycle is not meant for the business it is meant for the personal use for the owner so drawings account has to be debited sir and uh, cash account has to be credited because cash has gone out of the business thousand okay so see here the correct general entry is drawings account to cash but but what did they do what did the people in the question do see here charge to debited to miscellaneous expenses account miscellaneous expenses account so that means they have debited miscellaneous expense account right miscellaneous expense account debit to cash account which is completely wrong yeah completely wrong miscellaneous expenses uh, it's not correct so what you will do really simple you just have to compare and see properly what are the three steps you follow in that specific category simple record what is not recorded what is not recorded drawings is not recorded see here in the wrong entry drawings is not recorded so you will record the drawings by debiting it it was supposed to be debited you will debit and record it okay fine reverse what is wrong what is wrong miscellaneous expense is wrong reverse it it was debited you will make an equal credit and reverse it and then whatever that has gone right whatever that has gone right that is cash account you will not touch that at all see here cash account is not touched at all record what is not recorded reverse what is wrong and then you know do not touch the account which is completely correct fine because we are rectifying things over here we are not recording anything over here rectifying so whatever that is already recorded completely properly do not touch that if you touch that and double posting double effect will go fine easy next transaction see here uh, goods amounting to 100 had been returned by customer and were taken into inventory but no entry in respect thereof was made into the books now see the keyword over here properly really simple what they are saying no entry no entry in respect thereof this is the case of complete omission nothing has been recorded nothing has been recorded complete omission okay 
So let's understand what is the transaction and then let's just record it. Simple rectification. Goods amounting to 100 had been returned by customer. So this is the case of sales return. Simple sales return, returned by customer. Yeah, whenever they say returned by Mr. Mohan, you have to understand it's a sales return. Yeah, returned by uh, Mohan. Yeah, if they say something like that. If they say return to Mohan, return to Mohan, that means we are returning and that is purchase return. Okay, you need to have this terminology properly. Okay, accounting language, I call it. In the first video, I told you, if you make a simple mistake in this understanding by two, then you are gone. You will make a mistake over there. Fine. So this is the case of sales return. What is the entry for sales return? Simple. They, are, they have not said any name of the customer. So we'll just say sales return to customer. Yeah, sales return. When happens, how do you record it? Sales return has debit balance. So sales return account debit to customer, right? That's the general entry. See here. Yeah, it's in the next page. Sales return account debit to customer. But what did they do? They did not pass any journal entry only. No journal entry was passed. No entry in respect thereof. Now you will be a little bit confused about this such statement. We're taken into inventory. It's nothing. It's just they are saying that physically what happened? Customer returned the goods to us and then we took it into the uh, warehouse in the inventory. Okay. We, you know, we stocked the goods back. Fine. Yes. But in accounting, no entry was made into the books entirely it was not recorded so simply simply you will just record it sales return account debit to customer account complete omission fine the same current entry you have to pass next is see here a sale of rupees 200 to Singh and company was wrongly credited to their account entry was made correctly made in the sales book now what has happened over here understand really simple uh, the keyword is credited so this is a specific category credited debited posted charged yeah so the two parts correct part and the wrong part what is the correct part sale of 200 to sing and company what's the general entry for that correct general entry for simple sale really simple sir sing and company account debit to sales account simple sales entry sing and company account to sales 200 200 what did they do what is the wrong part was wrongly credited to their account this is the wrong part was wrongly credited to their account now you will see so what is the mistake in that credited to their account we cannot identify what's the mistake in the wrong part it's really simple they are saying credited it was supposed to be debited not credited sing and company was supposed to be debited not credited see here sing and company yeah sing and company was supposed to be debited yeah sing and company account debit but what did they do what are they saying was wrongly credited credited that means what have they done is two sing and company two sales in the ledger account they have taken the amount on the credit side that was that's what they have done yeah so in a general entry effect we can see it like this two sing and company two sales 200 200 so what will you do you all know whenever there is a mistake about the sites sites we have to take the double amount and rectify this yeah we have seen the complete logic behind this yeah we have seen the complete logic behind this so sing and company account debit by 400 yeah see here see properly sales was credited and it is credited properly 200 200 there is no mistake in that you will not touch the sales account but sing and company was supposed to be debited by 200 but what did they do they credited it by 200 yeah so what you have to do now understand properly you have to bring the amount in the sing and company ledger account from credit side to debit side yeah they have taken 200 on credit now this has to be brought to debit over here in the sing and company so what you have to do understand properly first you have to reverse the credit to reverse the credit you have to make a debit of 200 then only it will become neutral and then you have to make additional 200 debit then it will come on the debit side okay in total you'll have to make 400 debit in the sing and company account then only it will be corrected yeah that's what we have done see here sing and company account debit 400 yeah if this is the ledger account the amount is there over here they have taken amount over here so from credit to come on the debit you have to make a debit of you know uh, twice amount yeah so you have to debit the sing and company account by twice okay so see here sing and company account 400 debit to suspense account because mistake is there only in sing and company account so 
you will debit that and the entry will be handicapped so you have to complete the handicap with the suspense account is that clear yeah easy fine okay and then you have to prepare the suspense account and show to the examiner what has happened to that balance 493 because you all know we have to open the suspense account and see whether all the errors have been rectified or not so how will we come to know that it's really simple you have to open the t account so how will you do that it's really simple see here suspense account okay and then in the question itself they are saying there is an opening balance see here trial balance was out by 493 excess credit yeah excess credit means debit balance yeah credit is more there is a gap see here excess credit credit is more than debit there is a gap in the debit column which we filled up by the suspense account it was 493 so that 493 is debit balance because you all know in trial balance columns we have balances not just amounts balances these are balances not just directly amounts no these are balances fine so 493 we had over here suspense account 493 so when we will you know rectify the errors after doing you know locating rectify the errors whatever we can then we open suspense account to see what has happened have we rectified all the errors or not so we take the opening balance first to balance b by d yeah 493 it has debit balance now debit balance so we have to take it on the debit side to balance b by d 493 is that clear yes and then what you have to do just cross postings and you know just cross postings see here uh see suspense account is there suspense account is getting credited because of sales return suspense account is getting credited because of sales return 100 clear this way you have to do then see again suspense account is coming over here suspense account is getting debited because of trade payables suspense account is getting debited because of trade payables seven rupees fine and then yeah where else then here see suspense account is getting credited because of sing and company suspense account is getting credited because of sing and company 400 yes so that's all that's all entries we have where suspense account has come yes yep so uh, you know just add and let's see if there is a balance so this is the bigger side 100 plus 400 that's equal to 500 on both the sides and then 500 minus 500 minus 7 minus 493 that's equal to 0 so suspense account is completely tallied there is no balance over here yeah but it will not happen always here in this question suspense account is cleared tallied yeah 500 is equal to 500 and there is no balance inside yeah nothing is there but it doesn't always happen like this sometime there may be balance left because all the errors are not located and rectified it's practical now sometime you will not have enough time uh, you will rectify whatever errors you can in a short time frame but still there may be some errors left and you may have a debit balance left or a credit balance left and later in the next accounting period you will carry that forward and rectify it you all know this yeah if the you know suspense account has later debit balance then what you will do uh if it has debit balance even after clearing the errors, still there is a balance then you will carry it as an asset and if it has credit balance you will carry it as liability and then in the next accounting period you will locate the errors and try to clear the suspense account yeah this is the whole concept fine so you understood how you have to approach the question how you have to do the, these things right easy now if you have any doubts in this you can always you know message me on the instagram and directly ask the question okay directly ask the question uh, it's better if you take a photo and uh, you know send it to me and then ask the question because then I can get clarity on what you're asking fine so that's it for this video okay see you in the next video